your favorite empress and today we're going to be doing an update video for my most viral video on how to wipe properly after peeing. Now it's taken me a while to actually come out and update this video because I want to say outside influences and also self-doubt. First of all, this video has more than 60,000 views, so obviously it's relevant to the viewers. It's something that people actually need to be educated about. I started my channel to teach about the health of my locks and the health of body, woman's body. So I had no issue making videos like that until my friend circle would be like, why are you making videos about vagina? And I let people mocking me and joking about the fact that that's what I come on YouTube to do make me not do it anymore and that's not okay because social media is at a point where it's kind of getting boring and looking inauthentic for a lot of people because they come on here and do what everyone else is doing they're all doing their clothing hauls they're all doing what everyone is doing and that's not what I want to do I like to talk about women's health and women's care and um, well-being because I actively do that in my own life I like to find new ways to take care of my body I like to find new ways to take care of my mental health and all of those areas of health so that's why I enjoy I actually enjoy coming on here and making videos like that and for me to allow people to make me get to a point where I wasn't being authentic to the type of content that I want to put out that was not fair to myself so from now on the Pum Pum Talks, yeah, they're back. They're back. I'm gonna be talking about women's health and in different areas of health, that's emotional, physical, spiritual, all of that. I'm gonna give you tips on how to take care of yourself and grow as a young woman, cause that's my stage in life. I'm a young woman, I'm growing. Every day I'm finding different ways to take care of myself and why not share that? We all need it. You see the numbers, you see the numbers. It's there, people want those tips. And you don't see a lot of women like me at my age talking about this because it's not the trend, you know? So why would I hop out of what's working out for me to go do what everyone else is doing? That's, that's not an impressive thing to do. That's not the empress move. So um, yeah, that was my little chat on uh, why I'm no longer being inauthentic, no longer seeking outside validation for my content. I'm gonna do what resonates with me. Of course, I'm gonna do what my audience is pleased about, but I'm gonna make sure I actually enjoy the content I make and it's not generic and robotic because it's a job. You get what I'm saying? That's not what I'm here for. So let's get into the video. So for the video that I did on how to wipe properly after peeing, um, it actually had a lot of views people from India, different countries in Africa, all over the Caribbean and the United States, they would have questions, mostly women and people with vaginas as we call them these days. Um, there were a lot of questions in the comments that I did answer by typing and re responding digitally, but I wanted to make the video for the longest time because I actually wanted to show how they could wipe properly in the event that they were unable to do it the way that I shared because there were some women mentioning mentioning ableism um, because of the fact that some women were having more body mass than me so bigger women uh, they mentioned yeah you're skinny so you can reach behind you and do that type of movement but what about bigger girls who can't do that what tips would you give them and then there were actual people who maybe have like you know issues with their arms going that far back so i want to show you a different method on how to wipe properly after being because of the concerns like those that were shared in that video all right y'all so we're in the bathroom on the toilet just like the first video um i wanted to show exactly the way to do it that's the best way to teach is to actually show things even if it's awkward so i'm gonna show and describe what i'm doing okay y'all so there's the tissue 
and the toilet. We're gonna demonstrate now. Okay, so the method that I showed originally was wiping from front to back. All of these methods are front to back because that's the proper way to avoid having cross-contamination, meaning having booty stuff go to your vagina area. You don't want any of that. So you want to avoid anything from your anus or butthole going into your vagina area, okay? Because then that will cause infections. So fold up the tissue, whichever way you do it, that's your business. Just get it folded and ready. So the way that I showed originally was doing it like this, similar to how you wipe your butt, except you're going to be wiping from the front to the back of your vagina and not touching your butt at all. So because of the individuals sharing their concern that this way was not a way that everybody could do because not everyone can reach that far or lift their body like that while on the toilet, I'm going to show you all two different ways to do it other than the first way. So the next way to do it is pat from the front to the bottom of the vagina. I should say the top to the bottom of the vagina. So the top part right here, wherever the pee is remaining after peeing, you're patting it and you're going to the bottom and throw the tissue away. You don't want to use the same tissue over and over. So if you feel like you're still wet with the pee after using the first tissue to pat you get another piece and you continue doing the same thing pat to the bottom until dry if you feel like that method would take too long for you um if you just don't like that method you will try a more invasive method which will be opening your vagina lips and patting this is going to get into the vagina more so whatever pee is remaining you're removing it directly but I want to say when doing this, make sure that whenever you pat, 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 and then most of the tissue gets wet with the pee, you can, if there's space to fold it, say if you use this amount and then it got really wet with the pee, if there's space to fold it, you can fold it and use the next side so it's clean. But if all of this is wet, you want to get another piece of tissue and finish patting to the bottom of the vagina because you want to avoid getting any pee um, contamination and crossing the it's just too much of a sensitive area to risk anything so use something that is as it at its cleanest you want the tissue to be its cleanest so if you get pee all over the tissue you want to use another tissue that doesn't have the pee on it because you want to get the remaining pee right so you're gonna get the remainder of the pee this is the method um, holding the lips open and finishing down to the bottom of the vagina Now if you're doing this with wet wipes because um, you feel like wipes do it better It doesn't leave a smell and you know, it just gives a cleaner feel you can do those three methods as well You can do the one where I originally shared in the original video the one where you pat from top to bottom of your vagina or the one where you open the lips so you could be more invasive and get more of the pee that's remaining. You can try any of those three with a tissue or a wet wipe, as long as the wipes are unscented and clean and sterile. Okay y'all, so we're out of the bathroom. We're back into this area. I was sharing um, different methods of wiping, including your wet wipes. And I wanna finish off by talking about the cloth and the bidet. Um, so if you have a cloth, just like your washcloth or whatever because some people voice that in different countries like India some women will bring around a cloth with them so that if they go to the public restroom they use the cloth to wipe and they were asking me how to keep that cloth clean and if that's even a good method to use um, we're all from different backgrounds so we do things differently and I get that so if you do have a cloth to clean yourself whenever you're peeing in public just make sure that that cloth is clean you wash it when you get the chance with clean water and soap and then you let it dry um, as for reusing the cloth just make sure it's always clean when you're going to use it again and then for people who said they had bidets bidets are mostly used for after you're pooping but if you want to use that as a method for after you're peeing that's also a great thing because that's like the cleanest 
feel that you could get after peeing. That's if you're peeing at your house, because I don't imagine there being too many bidets in public. But if that's a 